I take your love in bits and pieces Coming to you only when it eases that lonely feeling That gets in my mind And you treat me so kind when those hard times come a dime a dozen Greetings, everybody. This is Patrick, the Vinyl Archivist, um, and this is my entry into the country music vinyl tag um, started by, I believe, Headley over in the United Kingdom. Um, I am a native Texan. My family still lives in Texas. I go visit there all the time. I lived in West Texas. I was a country and western DJ, believe it or not, for a while. Uh, my sister was a barrel racer, so I am totally ready to do this. Got my Dallas Cowboys hat on. Got my t-shirt from Endless Horizons in Odessa, Texas. The record, only record store in Odessa, at least that I know of. So let's get started. Um, I think there are 17 questions. Um, I pulled a lot of records. Some of them I'm going to have to fudge a little bit, but I was it was fun to do. I'm glad to do this. So first question was, uh, the oldest country record you own? I don't have a lot of old country, but I do have um, Johnny Cash, Orin Blossom Special, um, original, original mono on the Columbia label. So, the next question was, um, the newest country record in my collection, a new release or new acquisition? Um, this would be Casey Musgraves, The Golden Hour. It's a really, really, really good record. Um, love Casey Musgraves. Um, I highly recommend her. I'm pretty sure most everyone's heard of her, but great record. A record you own on a country music label. That was hard for me, but uh, I consider RCA to be pretty much a country music label with Elvis. And um, so for me, this was uh, Ronnie Millsap, Ronnie Millsap's Greatest Hits. I personally love Ronnie Millsap. Smoky Mountain Rain is a great album. Um, Pure Love, Daydreams About Night Things, Back on my mind again. What a difference you've made in my life. Ronnie Millsap was great. Loved him. Great two-stepping song, Smoky Mountain Rain, if you're a two-stepper. So that's my entry for the country record label. A bluegrass string or old-timey records you own. Um, I did not have an older one, but I believe this would count. Robert Plant and Allison Krauss, um, Raising Sand. Again, another great record. I'm sure everyone's heard of it. This is like an audiophile quality record. But that's my entry for that. Uh, the next one is a record from the artist you have the largest collection of. This is way out of whack here. Um, I would say um, Jerry Jeff Walker, and this is Viva Terlingua. I've actually been to Terlingua many, many times. Lost some brain cells there, been to the chili cook-off. But um, I probably have more Jerry Jeff albums than just about anything. Um... A live country record you own, and that would be Willie Nelson and Family Live. It's a double album. Um, don't have a ton of live albums, country live albums. I don't have a ton of live albums, period. I'm not a huge live album person, but yes, I do have Willie and Family Live. The next question is country box set or collection? That would be... Ray Charles, A Life in Music. So Ray Charles was a country artist. I don't have a box set. This is the closest I have. This is a great box set. It's got some of his country stuff on here. But um, but yeah, this is my kind of a fudging for that one. Or right, I left out one. I'm sorry. An international, international country record. And this would be First Aid Kit, The Lion's Roar. These are two sisters. And they do a... Great song uh, about Amy Lou Harris and Graham Parsons. It's called Amy Lou, and there was actually a video on YouTube of them singing it to Amy Lou Harris, and it's really, really great. These girls are awesome, so highly recommend it. So that's the international artist. A country duet record. Again, going back to Willie. Willie and Leon Russell. This is actually a live album, too, I do believe. There's Leon and Willie. So that's my duet record. A country record you would recommend to someone new to country. Um, I showed this, I think, as a runner-up on my um, Wallflowers. I think this was a Johnny Lee, Looking for Love. This is a great record. It's got some accessible stuff. 
um, Looking for Love, Picking Up Strangers, um, One in a Million. Those three songs were all hits. Um, Do You Love As Good As You Look was another hit. So I would say this is a great record, um, very danceable. If you like Two Steppin', love this album. Um, favorite country album cover? That is going to be Charlie Daniels Band, Fire on the Mountain. And this is, again, another great record. Charlie Daniels, um, Caballo Diablo, and Long Haired Country Boy, Call Up Treat Him with Telephone, Georgia, South's Gonna Do It Again. Or, and again, Orange Blossom. His version of Orange Blossom Special is awesome. This is also going to double as a record released by a small private or independent label. It's on Kama Sutra. So this one's going to do double duty. Charlie Daniels Band, Fire on the Mountain. If you don't have this record, get it. Um, let's see. A country music grail you're happy to have found. Um, that would be a 45 of um, Jessica Andrews. And it's a it's Who I Am, that's a song. Jessica Andrews, Who I Am. Um, I was familiar with the song from hearing it on The Voice and uh, tracked down this 45. It was hard to get. Um, really good stuff. I liked it. Um, an alt country or country rock record you own. Um, this would be Poco, um, Rose of Cimarron. Um, probably my favorite Poco album. This is just a strong album, top to bottom. Um, the title track is a must have. Uh, the next question is a country record from a country subgenre you own. Uh, let's see. That would be Sturgill Simpson, A Sailor's Guide to Earth. Um, this guy's a newer dude. He's kind of branching out doing all sorts of different stuff, but I do like this record. I believe I skipped another question. It is a country 7-inch or 10-inch record, and that would be Roseanne Cash, Seven Year Ache. Again, great, great dancing song from my country western DJ days. Great two-stepping song and a great song, period. And I believe the last question is a favorite country repress you own. And going back to Johnny Lee, this is one of those spun gold. It's got one in a million on it. And then it's got looking for love. Um, so I want to thank Headley for doing this country vinyl tag and getting me back into pulling out some of these records and listening to them. Um, I will be putting a link to Headley's channel down below. So hope everyone's doing well and have a good day. Bye.